Today I want to share with you information about how to identify a fish species based on sonar symbols. The information is based on screenshots and data from the internet, and based on my own experience using a Lawrence Hook 4. Here is the first image, in which we see a large symbol clinging to the bottom. There is a high probability that it will be a pike. The symbol is long and large. In this image, we see a slightly unusual situation, three large and long symbols hanging on top of each other. And still, here we most likely see pike. Yes, pikes don't often get together, but in late fall it's a common enough to catch several pikes from same spot. Let's move on to the next image. Here you can clearly see a large group of fish. It is almost impossible to see individual characters. The concentration of fish is very high. These are roaches or other small fish. And pay attention to the large symbol below the school of fish. There is a very good chance that it is a pike hunting for small fish. Here is another similar screenshot. Again we can see a large group of white fish. This is most likely small roaches. But the most beautiful thing in this image is this brighter long symbol. Here the moment of the pike attack. On the right side in the down scan, we see that symbol a little differently. It is separate from the group. This is most likely due to the fact that a different frequency was used for scanning. On the left side of the squad, there is also a small pike symbol. I didn't mention it, maybe it's not necessarily clear to someone, but on the left you can see the standard sonar image, and on the right a bluish downskin image. It should be kept in mind that the presented screenshots were taken while swimming at a speed of approximately 3 to 4 kilometers per hour. Characters shrink or stretch as you swim faster or slower. Of course, there will be such images on the sonar screen, when it will be difficult to give a clear answer to what you see. For example, what do you think is the fish in this image? Maybe it looks like several pike, but I would still guess that it is a large bream. Their silhouettes are not very long, not quite arched, and wide enough. Well, for example, in this image, a group of small fish is clearly visible, and below it are pike hunting? As would be logical. But again the symbols are thick, their concentration is high so I would guess that they are bream. But I wouldn't miss such a place. I would stop and try to cast. There may be a pike mixed in between these symbols. It may also be that the pike is somewhere nearby and it is simply not visible on the echo sounder. Where is a white fish? There is usually a pike. Unlike with pike and schools of small fish, the situation with perch seems to me to be much less clear. It is more difficult to separate the perch. It is easy to confuse them with groups of bream or other fish. Let's try to examine specific images. Here we see a group of small bream. In downs can we see the silhouettes of individual fish, and those symbols are long and wide enough. Here's another view of a large school of small bream. Again, the symbols are similar to the previous shot and the group is very large. You won't see perch in such large groups. Here's what the perch look like. The circle is small and the downskin symbols are more like small circles. The squad usually resembles a column or a pyramid. In this image you can see two schools of perch. As you can see in the downscan, they are easier to separate than in the traditional sonar image. And here is probably the best example. Because on one screen you can see both the school of perch and the larger and more massive schools of bream. The shape of the squad and the individual characters are also different. Take a look, the perch is standing like a Christmas tree, and the group of bream is closer to the bottom. And now we will look at how the Xander is visible on the echo sounder. If we say that a traditional echo sounder image is enough for us to distinguish a pike, then finding a Xander without a downscan will be quite difficult. Of course, an experienced fisherman can do it without a downscan, but it will help a newbie a lot. This is because the Xander is often very close to the bottom. Here in the left picture we can see a rise of the bottom, like a stone. And on the right you can clearly understand that it is a separate object. That's exactly what the Xander looks like, long thin stick. And sometimes it looks like a dot. Once you have an easier time separating the Xander from the bottom, the next task will be to separate it from the bream. Sometimes breams swim in small schools, close to the bottom, as in this image. Let's compare it with this image. We see several Xander symbols. As you can see the bream symbols are wider, and Xander do not like to be close to each other. Often they keep a distance between each other, and the bream can be close or above each other. Well, Xander are more often closer to the bottom than bream. And finally, 
I want to add that the echo sounder really helps in fishing and helps to find fish. But it will not show all the fish. It is not uncommon for me to catch fish in well-known spots. Even though I checked with the echo sounder before and did not see any fish there. The same is when trolling, I get bites, when there were no fish on the echo sounder. If you liked the video and it was useful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.